I uh, just thought I'd show you a bit about um, about the loft really. It's my bit of space uh, and, and my hobby as well. So, but I just thought I'd uh, talk you around the sort of stuff that I've got. <coughs> um, I put in the centre, which was, uh, I just made it out of a couple of sheets of chipboard really from the floor in old floorboards when I floored this loft out. And it excuse the untidiness. It is quite untidy when you look about. It does need cleaning up. Um, but I made my own <coughs> sort of work desk um, where are lots of the the buildings and things that I've made and servicing locomotives on and I brought the old computer up here as well but it was quite, um, once the keyboard's moved out of the way then it's it's quite it's quite a handy little workspace and I purchased um, a compressor so I have, I've had a go at weathering my own locomotives as well and I've had quite a lot of success, I'm really happy with them so Oh, and there's, because uh, I'm a bit of a Deltic fan, so there's the uh, North York, um, National Railroad Museum um, D9002 and Deltic that's in there. And also the Mallard, that was a limited edition, it's 18 karat gold plated or something. And even the rail is 18 karat gold. But that doesn't run, that's just in that display cabinet. Um, both Deltics have got chips in them, so they run. I've just run them the ones to run them in. And um, not really done anything since with them. They'll just stay there. Um, yeah, soldering iron and things. Um, just all bits of tools that I'd need, really, for various things that you do on railway layout. And I've just got a centre sort of stacking shelf system. And it's four tiers and just some empty boxes of some old Hornby stuff and Lima stuff on the top. Um, the compressor is situated down there. Quite a longish lead that I just have draped over the top. But yeah, it's been really successful. Got a printer up here. Don't do that much printing but um, mm, it comes in. So uh, yeah, so that's the one of the main maintenance, wait, well, it's the main maintenance depot. It's not really based on anything in real life. Um, but just something that you remember as a child when you used to go out train spotting and stuff. Um, yeah, well, it's mainly based on British Rail Blue, um, but 80s and 90s. So there's, um, we've got some sectors, liveries as well. But, uh, yeah, and that's the other depot. It's more of a refueling point, really. But, uh, yeah. And that one does have light in it. I've been doing this probably about seven years from when I first came up here. There wasn't any board in this. It's plasterboard. <laughs> Nothing flash. And it's got insulating on the other side of it because it used to get perishingly cold in winter up here. Um, and just this last summer I managed to uh, put my cloud scene that was painted on there again just had a go watch some how to do is it on YouTube and that was the first attempt not 100% convincing but considering I've ever painted a cloud before or done sky I was actually quite impressed with it and then just went down there and I think I did get better and better but uh, yeah so that's the little town that I've done and somewhere we've got um, if I can remember where it is we do have no it's not that one um, oh no I know where it is it's over here the plug-in it will be that one. So, yeah, so that's plugged in. So there's some lights going on in the station. 
Again, station's not based on anything other than just general memories. Um, people. A friend of mine at work laughs about these people because I got a thousand of them from uh, and got them directly from China. And so he takes the mickey out of me because they all look Chinese because they've all got dark hair. But actually not all of them have got dark hair now because I painted some of them. So some of them are blonde, some are ginger, some are wearing some are wearing caps anyway. But it was I think figures are, are way too expensive. And uh this was a really cheap way of making your station look really busy. So I was really quite impressed with it. Um